Girl, no. Okay, let me stop talking about him. It's fine. Next door. Next up. Ne no. Oh my god, it's been a while. Like, I haven't done a get ready with me in so long. A lot has happened. Today's currently Thursday, July 27th, 3 p.m. Y'all, I was supposed to be getting ready to go see Jackie Ina and Danessa Merricks at Sephora on 34th Street today, right? If only, like, I was in the business of spilling my own tea. Y'all be like, nah, what? Like, I mean, are you dead ass right now? But yeah that pushed me back panel starts at 4 p.m and they're having a meet and greet until like five o'clock but the thing is i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make it to either how did i drop the ball on this so bad well i didn't drop the ball i have like an hour to get ready basically because if i miss the panel i'm not gonna be too upset i really just want to meet jackie we gotta do our hair and our makeup i kind of have an outfit that i already want to wear but let's get into hair y'all because y'all i'm going blue Guys, this video is from RPG Show Hair. Y'all, I've been wanting to work with them for so long. I love the quality of their hair, their lace, their wigs, everything. So when your girl had the opportunity to work, I was like, yeah! This is the box that the wig came in. You open it and it has like some goodies. It has a stocking cap, it has a flyaway hair tamer, it has an elastic band, it has the specs of your wig right here, and they also give you a whole magazine as well as a little bag to store your wig as you can see based off the box alone y'all can understand why i really wanted to work with them for so long this is the op hair number three wig i will have a link to this direct wig in the description box down below let me just install and talk at the same time because i'm just so excited like i feel like summer is meant for blonde hair like i just love blonde hair in the summertime i also want to note that this wig came fully customized like literally knots were bleached i did not bleach the knots on this wig at all hairline came pretty plucked and everything literally all i did was just wash it and flat iron it because i always wash any wig that i get like it don't matter where it came from i wash every wig this wig came pre-customized and everything and i'm so excited because it literally made my job so easy and not even to drag it y'all i'm so happy that they did not send me the thin thin wig caps i hate them they snag on to everything and they're just not for me i like me a good thick wig cap i'm gonna go ahead and tint my lace Come on. <laughs> Come on, Beyonce. Do y'all see this blonde? Like, literally, when I opened the package and I saw this wig, I was so happy. RPG Show wigs are just such high quality, and they put so much effort and time into their wigs that I'm just like, yo, this is a quality wig right here. Do y'all see the color? Like, the blonde. This is the perfect blonde for me. I've been wanting a blonde like this for the longest and I was literally so happy. We're gonna get to cutting the lace. This is literally always the scary part for me. I don't know why, because cutting lace is very, very simple. Like literally just cut the lace. So I'm gonna look into my mirror right here to cut. Wig is not even laid down and it literally melted into my skin. Wow. I'm gonna lay my lace down with a bolt hole liquid gold. You guys know I love this as well. now that my hair is melting i'm gonna begin with my makeup i'm not gonna do super heavy makeup because like i said it's hot outside today i don't think i mentioned to you guys if you guys hear anything blowing in the background um it's my ac i'm not turning it off it's 95 degrees i am not doing a heavy beat literally my sister just woke me in the crib she's like me it's so hot outside like i could barely breathe and if she's saying it's hot y'all it's hot because this girl loves to be outside like she's an athlete and all so <laughs> I'm definitely concerned, but I just love Jackie so much that I'm just like, yo, listen, you gotta take him for the team today, you feel me? But I'm gonna go into makeup. I'm gonna really just talk to you guys. I have a whole makeup routine video on my channel already. You guys know how I do my makeup. Nothing has really changed. Well, I'm like, a few things have changed in my makeup routine. Nothing too drastic. What, what, no, what, what, why would that help? I finished carving out my brows. And I want to spill my own tea so bad. Because y'all would be like, girl, what? But anyways, um, yeah, I'm so excited to meet Jackie and Danessa. Also, I really want to try some of the Danessa Merrick's products. I heard the Yummy Skin is so good. Her blushes are really, really good. So today I'm going to purchase some items as well from Danessa's line. I've loved Jackie for years and years and years. And the last meet and greet that I've ever, like, went to was actually... Aaliyah J's meet and greet in 2016, y'all. Aaliyah J's meet and greet in 2016. I was, um, where was it? It was at 
what was that hair place? I don't know what was the name of the hair company, but she did the meet and greet with the hair company. They was on 140th. I don't know if they still there, but like they was on 140th in Harlem, right? Aaliyah came, bro. I was first in line. If y'all followed Aaliyah on Snapchat, I was the first in line. I'm gonna see if I can have if I have that video, cause that was when I had I don't know what phone I had, but I had a lot of phones in between, so some of that stuff got lost. But first in line, like Aaliyah is my sis, Jackie my sis those two women have inspired me immensely they've paved the way for so many beauty careers and i just wanna i don't know like it's such a full circle moment for me i'm so excited i just i'm not doing a heavy beat and here i go putting on foundation but yeah y'all i said i'm not gonna spill my own tea but i'm gonna just give you guys a little life update not really a life update life has just been life has just been a lot right now like oh my god yo i really want to spill my tea no girl because then now you're gonna invite me because it's like if there were people that i just knew that really messed with me i'm like oh yeah this is what happened girl da -da -da -da. but you really don't know who's watching your video and i'd hate for somebody to use what i said in one of my videos against me so i'm just like nah let me just chill out let me just chill out but life has it's, it's been a lot a lot has happened and i'm really just figuring it out i'm in so many eras right now i'm in my lover girl era. i'm in my healing girl era. i'm in my transformative era i'm in my wellness era like i'm in so many eras and i'm still trying to you know find a balance with everything in my life like i'm talking about everything and it's just a lot so sometimes i take breaks okay i take breaks they're well needed and sometimes i be going so ghost and not even necessarily ghost i just forget to post because i'm not even a person that really likes to post like even before social media became my job i never really used to post for real for real so now that social media is kind of my job it's kind of hard for me to post especially in the moment if i'm having fun and stuff like that like girl y'all get the recap in the morning and majority of the times i forget to do the recap in the morning so it just be like a one story dub and i'm like girl where the hell have you been i have been going through different experiences that have been shaping me into the woman that i've always dreamt about being i'm not saying all the experiences have been good some of them have really been crazy really hard it made me realize everything in this life is not gonna come easy so you're just gonna have to thug it out basically i'm thugging it out i'm in my thug it out era as well like i'm really thugging it out this summer has been really really fun though i will not lie like i've just been doing so much um like so much i'm really happy right now but that doesn't mean i'm not also sad some days like you know i'm human like you can be in a good spot in life right now but that doesn't mean that you're always gonna be happy you're always gonna have a great day i be i be like yo i don't want to talk to nobody right now nobody talk to me like nothing okay sometimes i want to run away when i say run away i'm like book a trip and go someplace but i'm like girl you need to save your money as well because i really do have goals and i always tell you guys it's like i have goals i have goals i have goals but like my goals sometimes be so big and i just love to think big i love to dream big i know that i can achieve my goals with hard work and determination like that ass and i ain't trying to be cliche or anything like that i just know that i can when i sit back and just listen to people's stories because i've been meeting so many different people as well when i see the struggles that they've went through everything that they've endured in their life and how where they are right now I'm, I'm getting emotional damn where they are right now it's very inspiring and oh my god no hold up why am i about to cry especially with burner boy <laughs> yes, uh, yo my cousin is watching she's like is she dead ass right now girl no okay it's fine next door and that's up no am i serious right now girl i get so emo like literally when i say i cry i cry that's why I say, i'm not gonna cry on on this youtube because i know how i get when i cry like <laughs> I know how I get when I cry, so I'm not even gonna continue talking about it, but like, I'm just inspired. People inspire me every day. Girl, and y'all hear how my voice sound? Like, it's not even like a cute little, like, you know how some people have cute voices when they cry? Like, I be sound like a man. My voice be getting mad deep. I be sound like a man, like, no. But yeah, I just be, I'm just so inspired. I just wanna achieve so many goals. I wanna do so many things for my family. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna end it there because I really, I really will start crying. Like, I know myself. I just wanna continue working hard and just making my family proud, uh, making you guys proud. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, let me stop talking because I'm really gonna get emotional. Like, I'm already emotional. Y'all yeah, already saw me cry. But yeah for me it's deeper than just fame and stuff like that but like being able to change not only your life but your family's life that's really what i want to do like that's really that's really it that's really what i want to do so 
yeah and jackie is somebody who inspires me to do that girl you're not about to cry but yeah jackie's somebody that um inspires me to do that same with Aaliyah j straight up like straight up they worked their way to where they are right now anybody that you see that's a success right now everyone has put in work i've been doing a lot of growing i've grown so much the past year has been very transformative like very eye-opening very transformative for me just proud of myself i'm really i really am i really am proud of myself i'm not where i want to be but i'm far from where i started as long as i continue going that's really all that matters like nobody can tell me nothing i don't know when this became like a motivational thing this was not the direction that i had in mind for this video when i started filming a lot of the times people can easily be caught up into what other people are doing or what other people have going on for themselves that they start to become ungrateful and unmotivated to continue doing what they want to do another person's success should be a motivation to you because it shows that if they were able to do it you could do it as well I don't want to sit here and act like oh life is just so amazing like my life is just so perfect because it's not like it's not it's really not at all but to put an end to what I'm saying I just want everybody to be grateful for what they have my life is nowhere near perfect and I hope that I don't come off as that because I don't want to like I really don't want to I know some people like oh it's like just it's just social media don't like put everything out but I know some people really mess with me to the point where it's like yo you inspire me and not even to sound like oh i got fans because it's not that people have told me that i inspire them you get what i'm saying i don't want it to come off as yo my life is perfect my life is this da, 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 da. i go through everything that you go through okay you got relationship problems i got relationship problems you got family issues i got family issues like i go through the same stuff i go through the same exact stuff and you guys may not see that because i'm not gonna broadcast that because at the end of the day i am a private person i don't broadcast my issues that's not what this channel is about i do not want anyone to be like oh yeah her life is just amazing she's doing so well da, 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 da. and i'm not gonna take away from any of my achievements but i don't want to sit here and be like my life is perfect because no one's life is perfect okay like no one's life is perfect i really want to take another trip before september because i'm already going to take another trip in september but i don't know where like i i think i want to do a solo trip but i just do not know where i was thinking someplace in the states just because i feel like the states would be the not necessarily the cheapest because everybody's traveling everywhere now i was also thinking europe too because JetBlue finally flies to paris now and apparently in 2024 you're gonna have to have a visa in order to travel to europe and that's just so crazy like they're so money hungry because the olympics are gonna be in paris in 2024 like that's just crazy to me come on i'm not really too pressed to even travel for real for real but i would like to that's just me itching to spend some money like that's really it like i'm gonna be real it's just me itching to spend some money like there's no purpose behind it there's no need for it i told myself i don't know what age did i say i think i said 24 or 25 can't remember but i was like i'm gonna stop traveling just to travel but it's so hard because i want to experience life i don't want to ever be like oh my god i didn't have a chance to experience this especially when i have no responsibilities i don't think y'all understand i have no responsibilities part of me is like safe every single cent and i'm not saying i don't save i save my money but the other part is like girl you live one life you don't know when your time is gonna be up enjoy your life okay like enjoy it for real for real i really don't like doing lashes like i'm i love my eye shape now and it's crazy because a literally a year ago if my lashes were not filled in i was not going outside like i just was not going outside i would get my lashes done so frequently my lashes have gone tremendously i miss my lash tech though um but yeah like i would literally wear my lashes 24 7 but i am so happy that i finally got out of that stage because what what was that on my eye shape is so beautiful but i do think i want to get lashes again but i don't think i'm going to do them as heavy i want them to be very very natural like very natural i'm still a mega volume babe for fake when i put on strip lashes but if i were to do like everyday lashes they have to look very natural and the thing about lashes that look very natural they don't really last as long but i'm gonna be checking my lash check to see if she could do like a natural set on me now that my lashes have grown out i feel like i'm a good candidate for like hybrid um because i will always get mega volume because i didn't have no lashes so i'm gonna let this dry it down a bit i didn't do too much i'm gonna hold you like i'm gonna be like girl this is still a lot it's not a lot it's really not i feel like me not doing lashes also adds to the fact that i feel like it's done a lot but it's time for lippy i'm almost done what time is it now it's 4 16 y'all no shade if i wasn't filming i would have been done probably about like 3 30 because the wig was so easy to install you guys my makeup really took long because i was chatting so i so i really could have been done by like 3 30 but i'm trying to hurry up and be done by 4 30 did you guys see the tiktok about the woman was like elegant woman don't put brown lip liner and nude gloss i'm just like come on people really do just be chatting 
but baby this brown lip liner and nude combo gonna eat every single time i don't know what shorty was talking about but yeah she could stay over there i feel like lashes will fake give like a a different vibe i'm gonna see how i feel after i get dressed and we'll see this is where the hair stops at i think i might trim the ends just a bit let me do that right now but yeah this is a 20 inch wig let's really get into the color like mm, i love it so much let me get dressed and i'll be right back i went ahead put some lashes on and i am dressed you guys um yeah the lashes are from the beast plus so like i don't have a link for it or anything like that but yeah, y'all, this is going to be the end of the quick, very quick, get ready with me. I just wanted to, you know, sit down and just talk to you guys. I think I'll do another get ready with me where I answer you guys' questions. If you guys have specific questions, I'll answer that. But yeah, y'all, um, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look at the hair. Come on. Come on. I think I might do it this way, though, because I don't know how I feel about it behind the ear. I don't know. I think both. I think it ate regardless. But yeah, I love you again so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.